Well, David, you can probably hear behind us, but bulldozers are actually now on the bridge trying to get this train back on the rails. This just happened in the past 10 minutes or so. And this situation that ended up closing the bridge earlier this morning caught commuters by surprise, and they say it threw a wrench in their morning commute. For more than a century, the Rose City has relied on the steel bridge. The steel bridge is really the hardest working bridge in town. Though Monday, it needed some help. After five Union Pacific train cars derailed on the east end of the bridge around six in the morning. A freight car is leaning against one of the beams on the steel bridge. We've got to make sure that this bridge is safe, that there's been no damage in there. Uh, safety was a concern, and so we shut the bridge down. The hardest working bridge closed for four hours during rush hour to trains, buses, cars, cyclists, and boats passing underneath. It, it's definitely an inconvenience for, for commuters. Like definitely Gabe Hyken. It's going to make my commute a little longer today. A little longer. That's a little bit different. I mean, I've never seen something like this. I, I've never seen the a train, a train derail like this. So this is uh, really interesting, especially in the city. Portland Fire and Rescue officials say there was hazardous material on a car, though Union Pacific says the cars were empty. Regardless, workers checked the bridge quickly and reopened it late Monday morning, marking the return to a fixture of stability in Portland. This bridge is the hardest working bridge in the city. And as you can see, once again, workers are working on that white car that has been leaning against the beam of the bridge since this morning. Now, fortunately, in this situation, nobody was hurt. It's also not clear what led up to that derailment. That's something that Union Pacific is just continuing to investigate and does not have information on that just yet. David? Yeah, I always wondered how they got the train cars back on the rails, and now I guess we know. Thank you, Thomas.